Hello, folks. Today, the project is to build a ice box on this aluminum boat that I picked up. And uh, basically, I did everything on this thing that you can possibly think of. So I picked up a little aluminum, uh, 13 and a half feet, and it was just a trailer and a shell. Uh, basically, nothing on the inside. And I kind of went out all the way and did everything that I wanted to do uh, on a boat. I put in a, uh, a winch here or an anchor motor. Um, basically, I took out the foam from the center and I made a storage areas and then I put up the seats. So in the front, I have all my jackets, emergency stuff. Then I built a little center column and uh, put in a steering wheel and uh, uh, underneath is storage and I put in some cushion seats, everything is custom made. Uh, put in some electrical, put like a little switch panel down here and uh, two seats next to each other. And then I put in a double battery system here, tied and parallel and a little switch control panel on this side. And I got a little trolling motor and then I tied both of them in so I can steer from the steering column. And now what happened is every time we go fishing, we have all these coolers. So you can't really move around too much. So what I did is I took one of the storage areas and I took out the foam. And what I'm planning on doing is making an ice box uh, here. So the first thing that I did is I took a cardboard box and I cut a pattern basically that fits inside here with a lip on top. And I made sure that you can take out this section easily so it clears when you push it up to the front and then it clears back here so you can go down and then slide back. And the next step that I did is I took that pattern, put it on plywood and cut out two equal sides. So this is what I ended up with from that pattern. Basically, it looks like this. I made it out of quarter inch plywood. And the reason why I have it open on the bottom, so I need to reach with fiberglass in this section underneath on the inside. And once I finish that in the corners, then I'm going to put the rest of the plywood here and then I can do it from the top side. From the top side, I'll be able to reach inside. So basically, this is what it looks like. And what I did is I basically glued it and put in some nails just to hold it together until I do the uh, fiberglass. So the way it works is basically, you slide it in like this, up to here, and then you drop the back end down. And then you lift up a little bit, slide it back. And I just took a regular uh, aluminum uh, 90 angle and I made it into a square rectangular that's going to fit on top of here. And then the aluminum will be attached to the wood and then I fiber, fiberglass the whole thing. So the idea here is that it's really a uh, ice box. And then my thinking is down here where I have a little bit of room. What I'm going to do is build a little partition right across here that's wide enough just so you can fit some water bottles in there and freeze the water bottles, take some water out, freeze the water bottles. And there is my cool box. And when I catch a whole bunch of fish, I can just pull out the whole thing and take it into the kitchen so I can fillet them. So that's the plan. Next step is to fiberglass.
the next thing that I did is I put tape on the joints because I will be fiberglassing the inside. So I want to make sure that the fiberglass liquid does not leak on the, uh, on the outside. Because if it does, then you have a big problem there. So I suggest you tape all of your corners. Make sure that everything is sealed and nothing leaks on the outside because we'll be doing the inside part of, of the uh, box. All the corners are sealed. Now we flip it over. And we can begin laying down the uh, fiberglass. So now, now I'm going to cut a whole bunch of uh, strips so I can do the corners of the cloth, fiberglass cloth, so, so I can double strengthen the joints. That's going to be the next job and I'm going to have those ready. Then I will mix the resin and uh, start uh, patting it in, start laying it down. Next step is I pre-cut all of the cloth and measured everything and got it all ready. So once I apply the resin on the plywood, then I can put the pieces in and soak them in. So they're all pre-cut. I did double on the joints for the corners. So I cut the double strips and it's ready to go. Time to mix the formula. Anytime you work with fiberglass, I like to wear double gloves. And the reason is sometimes I need to do something and the hand is sticky. I primarily use my left hand uh, for adjusting and using the right hand for the brush. So if I need to take off, if I need to do something and my hands are sticky, I can just pull one glove off. Uh, that's just a little tip for you. It'll save you a lot of, a lot of trouble down the line. So wear a double glove. Okay, I did the bottom and I did the corners and double reinforced everything. Very simple, I didn't show you exactly how I do it, but you apply the resin first on the plywood, then you put the cloth and then you soak it in and make sure that you tap in all of the joints really good so you don't see any any white when you see the white uh, cloth that means you need more resin and basically you're just going in and tapping with the brush adding more resin and uh, making sure that uh, everything is covered you don't want to put too much pressure on it because if you do you're going to pull the cloth and you don't want to do that you want the cloth to stay within the corners because you need the strength in the corners and uh, now what I'm going to do is probably flip it over and do this portion over here so now it's safe it's safe to take the tape off and uh, I will be putting an outside coat as well so I'll be doubling up on the corners on the fiberglass as well and that's uh, I need to prep everything before I put this frame on and in this frame I need to bolt in uh, two, uh, two places on the side and two places over here in the back. But before I do that, uh, in fact I want to do that at the same time as I put the frame on I want to make sure that this resin is wet and it has cloth on it so it will bind to uh, the aluminum frame make sure that you sand the aluminum frame uh, a little bit because the scratching makes it a really good bond on the uh, aluminum but i'll have bolts in there too to reinforce it so the plywood is really doesn't carry the weight of the unit it's the fiberglass that's going to be carrying all of the weight the wood is just too fragile it's only quarter inch so let's say you fill this thing up with fish, you're not going to be able to pull it out. <laughs> so you need a strong bond between the frame and the plywood here. So that's why we're putting two, uh, two bolts. We're going to put two bolts on uh, each side and the back to reinforce that frame so it has 
a, a good solid bond. Okay, now we flip the box and I basically pre-cut the cloth for all the corners. I'm going to do all the joints first. And I'm not going to do the sides, I'm only going to do the bottom and the joints. And then the main cloth in the center will be applied. Let it dry and then we do the sides. As you can tell, I took the tape off and you can see why we needed the tape because we have resin coming through. If the tape wasn't there, all of the stuff would have leaked out. You can see down here too, uh, empty spaces. Uh, actually, that's a pretty tight joint from the other side, but you can still see resin coming through. So that's the reason why we use tape. So far, looking good. So I applied my resin on the bottom in the corners and now I'm going to put now I'm going to put my fabric in and you gently pop it in there push so it soaks in do the same thing all over and then start applying more uh, resin sorry I couldn't film it and uh, do the application at the same time but I did put in two coats on the inside corners one sheet in the middle and then uh, this portion I will probably do when I have it upside down so it's easier because I have to turn these on the side in order to put the sheet down and I had a little bit of uh, resin left over so what I did is I did one joint here and it was towards the end it was beginning to dry so I had to work quick so I couldn't get exact part but uh, this part that's hanging out I will be trimming it. I can just uh, basically sand it. Sand it down so it's nice and smooth. So when I put the next layer over, it'll have a nice uh, overlap. Okay, now we're dried up and I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking I'm gonna be pulling this out, out of the boat, out of its placement. And this portion here, is going to uh, take most of the stress as I pull it out and of course I'll have a back I'll have a uh, rim around here so what I did is I basically made up a aluminum I took an angle 90 and then I split it in half and folded it both ways so I can get a little more surface uh, on each side so now you see that when I fiberglass this in, it'll give it a nice support. So obviously I'm going to put fiberglass underneath, then lay this on top, and then put a few coats on top and on this side overlapping on the bottom. So that should give me enough strength where nothing flexes and everything is solid and then at the same time I'm thinking of maybe making one support just a uh, strip that goes all the way around to the other side and screwing it into either here or here and then tying in the top part as well so that's the next step well for a day or so I've been doing uh, first layer all the way around inside and outside so far I put a couple of coats on the inside and now this is the first coat on the outside putting in the first layer so stuff like this it just takes time it took me a while to get the right mixture because it was drying kind of slow but I think I got it now to a point where it only takes about oh, 30, 40 minutes to cure. Not fully, but enough that you can scrape it and you can work with it. So this is the next step. And then I have to close off this area here. And then to do, do the same thing to reinforce the joints. I did reinforce this part here with a aluminum bar angle. And that seems to be doing pretty good. Looks like it's going to hold well.
Okay, finally, I put in the uh, um, aluminum holder, which is going to be holding the uh, tank in place. And I use screws from the inside. I put the fiberglass in between and sandwiched it between the plywood and the uh, rail. And then I use the screws to tighten it so it's nice and tight and we got a good seal. And uh, now, basically, what I'm doing is I need to finish off this part, which is the bottom part. So I put some glue on here. And uh, now I'm going to use uh, finished nails to nail it in. And then finish off the rest of it, the other two pieces. So by the end of tomorrow, we'll fiberglass the inside seal it and then do a sanding coat and then probably put in another coat after the sanding and we should be ready to put the fish in it i finished the uh, wood and then i taped it so we don't get any resin leakage through the cracks okay so now we are ready to flip it upside down and do the rest of it from uh, the inside so just putting the resin then we're gonna sand the whole thing and then we're going to put a final coat on it and let it cure looking good on the inside I cut down the screws on the outside that looks very nice so now the only thing left is to do the bottom on the outside so we're gonna take that tape off and finish the fiberglass then after this we're going to sand everything and put another nice coat on it so everything is nice and even and then we should be ready to go i think i'm going to add one little bar over here to keep my uh, frozen ice bottles on this side and that should keep everything cool for three four hours probably half day Okay, all finished. That's it. Did uh, about two coats on everything and uh, sanded it in between the coats. And now this is the final product, ready to go into the boat. I did install a bar here across to hold my dry ice and um, keep it cool for at least half a day but uh, it looks it looks okay i can easily pull it out of the boat and put it into the boat pull it out take the fish out wash it and dry it and then pop it back in the boat okay here we go So that's about it folks, ready for fishing. So if you like this video, please share. Thank you very much for joining and uh, have a fantastic time. Bye-bye.